class, good people with work experience get preference from these two. Very high ABG. That's a valid question. Well, uh, the thing is, when you are experienced, you have certain amount of industry exposure with you, then you are market ready. So yes, you will get some preference, but when you are fresher, even when you are fresher, you have certain amount of skills that you can please people with. So never too uh, likely that if you have work experience, then only you get placed or if there is a added advantage, just be with the, uh, through with the curriculum and get skill and that's what will get you through. So the next question is from our friend and he is asking, I am a commerce graduate, uh, will this course be too technical for you? Hi, uh, this course is not too technical for you as it focuses on the managerial aspects of the subject. Although being from technical background would definitely help you a bit, but you can certainly cover it up. Thank you. Uh, we have our next question from Nakshmi. Uh, she asked, uh, do school placements consider are considered during placements in SCIT and to what extent? Well, I am Nakshi. Yes, some uh, uh, eligibility criteria is said to allow you set for placements. So, school academics are of importance during the interview process, but it is a little weightage and the more preference is given to the whole process as a whole. So, you need to work out throughout the process. Thank you for your question. Hi, the next question is from Manish and he is asking, is it necessary to have work experience to apply for this course? So, hi Manish, uh, no, even freshers can apply for this course. It's not mandatory to have work experience for this. Thank you very much. So, we have our next question from Vikram. Vikram asks us, what is the internship process and what is the duration of the internship? So, the as per the uh, SCIT rules, uh, companies come to campus to offer internship to students and students can also apply on their own depending on their interest. Uh, the internship uh, lasts from 60 to 90 days depending on the company and it's a very fruitful experience. Uh, while you be in SCIT, you have to be industry ready uh, before you go for actual placement. So, internship is a very valuable thing that will occur in the spring month and that will give you exposure to real market and real industry. Thanks for your question. Well, the next question is from Priya and she is asking what is the intake capacity of MBIT period? So, yeah, last year's intake capacity of MBIT period was 180, so it would not be complete this year too. And it's, uh, so it's the same. Thank you. We have our next question from uh, he asked, how good is the industrial exposure for the students? Well, hi Prithvi, the industrial visits are arranged and besides the renowned in-house faculty, we also have faculties coming from outside industry, uh, sub subject matter experts which will guide you on the various specializations that are offered at SCIT. That will give you the real insight into the course. And it would be not just school feeding, uh, you will get the real hands on experience of various schools, which is the actual market need of industry right now. So, in whom will become a proficient IT consultant or uh, nurture IT talent after passing out from here? Thanks for your question. So the next question is from Avila, and he's asking Does SCIT provide international internships? Well, yes, I will ask. The SCIT also provides international internships and the selection criteria for it is purely based on merit. Thank you. So, to come to the next question, we have our next question from Ankit. So, as we all are worried about SNAP, he asks us how to prepare for SNAP. Well, uh, I will tell you that SNAP is a speed and accuracy based test. Also, uh, if you there is 25% negative marking in SNAP, so I would recommend that you choose questions wisely and attempt only those questions that you know uh, for sure. And once you do that in the process, please uh, refer to various domains like areas for general knowledge and be acquainted with current affairs, and that will get you through. Uh, all the best for SNAP. Well, the next question is from Chandani and she is asking, does SCIT consider the test schools like Mad, CAT, MNC, etc. Hi Chandani, SCIT only considers SNAP schools, no other test schools like Mad, CAT, CAT, etc. are considered for admission into this college. Thank you. Uh, 
And that's true actually for every other system. We have our next question from Divya. She asks, what all events happen in SCI? Well, uh, Divya, you will be glad to know that there are various events that are happening at SCIT at regular intervals. One of the events that is most sought after is flagship event of SCIT property, which happens in the month of January. Then we have TEDx talks, also the seminars, guest lectures, and various other events like Sprout IT. CSAM keeps on happening and you will get real insight of how things happen in the industry as well known speakers come to address here. Uh, plus you will get uh, a, a, a blend of networking from different areas of industry. So it's a very a good experience uh, regarding events at SCI. So the next question is from Zoom when he's asking what are the biggest activities of SCI? Well, I do. Uh, there, are, yeah, there are very many various committees at SCI. Uh, for example, like Admin Committee, uh, Alumni Committee, and Institutional Social Responsibility. These, uh, there are many more. And uh, these committees handle different parts of the network, uh, different parts of the process. If they are required for any network. Thank you. So, uh, thank you for your question. Once you go out, you 
you work in IT industry or any field for that matter, you will have an expertise in your own field, which will make you stand out. You need a unique set of skills to get further in life, and that's what CIT offers. And this is why you should choose IDPM course here at SCIT. And for your question. The next question is from Soumya, and uh, she wants to know what are the future prospects after doing ages and information security management. Hi, Soumya. Well, information security management gets you different profiles such as information risk management, IT advisory services, IT security consulting, information audit services, and also identity and access management services. So, you can definitely get into it. Thank you. We have our next question from Martha. Martha asks Do we need to be proficient with coding before joining ITBM Code? Well, hi, Martha. There is no need to be a proficient coder before joining MD ITM. Uh, you will have here get extreme exposure to various aspects of IT industry. Let me tell you that IT industry is not limited to coding. You get various profiles, not just developer profiles. And once you get into the IT industry, the hierarchy is endless. So here at SCIT, we make sure that if we get you uh, acquainted with that hierarchy where you can actually grow up, uh, grow up the ladder. So you no, know, you need not be proficient with coding, but a little uh, uh, knowledge of coding will always be helpful as extra skills will add to your profile. Thanks for your question. Well, the next question is from uh, Alok and he's asking is the host facility available inside the campus? Hi Alok, yes the host facility is available inside the campus. We have our next question from Madhur. Madhur asks, can I apply for both ITBM and DSGA and can I sit for both GE pilot courses for ITBM and DSGA? Uh, well, hi Madhur. Uh, then as long as you fulfill the eligibility criteria for both of the courses, for MBA ITBM, as I discussed before, this 50% of minimum marks uh, in your 12th and 11th. Uh, then for DSGA, you have uh, got to have uh, mathematics as a compulsory subject in 12. As long as you fulfill that criteria, you are eligible to sit for both the programs. Uh, then you will be called for G5 process if you clear the merit list. And if you get through the merit list, then it's your choice to uh, go into whichever course you want. But uh, as I said, the opportunities is open for every course and you can apply for both. Thanks for your question. So the next question is from Rashmi and she is asking what is the duration of the SNAP exam? Hi Rashmi, the duration of the SNAP exam is 120 minutes and it is being conducted in 102 cities across India. So you can get to the test center of your preference which will be very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you Rashmi. Our next question is from Ashwin. She asked, what is the difficulty level of the admission process for DSCA? Uh, well, uh, Pooja, to answer that question, I would like to tell you that any competitive exam needs a thorough preparation. And since uh, the intake for MBA DSCA program is only 30, there is high competition. And depending on that competition, there will be relative uh, grading or uh, merit list should be formed. So you need to be really prepared for the process and if you are prepared you need not worry because everything will go uh, smooth uh, and all the best for the process. Well the next question is from Malik and he is asking what are the future prospects after doing major system? Well hi Malik, the future prospects of doing major system is that you can get a profile like functional consultancy, ERP planning, business analyst, team, six sigma, etc. So you can join any of them. You can join SCI and get a role in any of them. Thank you. So the next question is from Vitali. Uh, and she's asking how many subjects are there in the first semester? Well, I'm Vitali. Uh, <laughs> I'll like to invite you to get to uh, get to the college and see for yourself. And uh, the next question is from uh, Malika. And she's asking, is work experience mandatory to be eligible for BCIT? Uh, I'm Malika. Yes, work experience. 
different rounds of the team by process of teams uh, group exercise. But personally, it's simple. And then it is not exactly in that order. Uh, first of all, you will have to go for the group exercise, then you will have to go for the general group test, and after that, you will face the personal interview. And after getting selected, you will get the base and that is in the shortest for the call. We have got our next question from Shreyas. Shreyas asks, I am a graduate from Symbolsis International University. Is there any in-house quota for MBA DSBS? Well, hi Shreyas, no, there is no quota for any of the programs offered at SCIT. Uh, you will have to follow the actual process uh, which we just uh, elaborated for you. And that is how you get to SCIT. Thanks for your question. Well, the next question is from Susha and he is asking will there be general management subjects included in the analysis course? Well, hi Shah. Uh, this course will also include general management subjects as the IT web course as it is an MBA in the data sensitive analysis. Thank you. We have our next question from Nupur. Nupur, are you able to discuss the process of what are different programming languages the course will cover over the course of two years? Uh, well, hi Rupur. Uh, to answer your question, the programming languages are not taught specifically, but in like the course curriculum, you will find that you will learn R, Python, SQL, to name a few. And the course curriculum will always be implemented with the latest practices uh, which are happening at outside. So, you will never get uh, off the uh, curriculum. Uh, it will be followed accordingly and you will get the knowledge of every language which is required for being competitive in the market here. Thanks for your question. So the next question is from Gaurav. And he has seen our final year graduation students eligible to apply for MBBS. Well, hi Gaurav. Yes, the final year students are eligible to apply for the MBBS. After they can return to the campus and after they complete that day. Thank you. We have got our next question. Uh, 
uh, to be here. The next question comes from Dimanchi. Uh, he is asking, are in house faculty going to be cutting in subjects like machine learning and AI? So, hi Dimanchi. We have a very well renowned, uh, well -renowned faculty department. All uh, so they will be definitely teaching the subjects. Also, there will be subject matter experts from the industry who are going to come and uh, make a hands-on training experience for you. Thank you. We have our next question from Tanuj. Tanuj asks, what is the fee structure for DSBA 2018 monthly? Uh, well, uh, Tanuj, uh, for the fee structure, you need to, for the proper breakup, you need to refer to the website, which is www.sbit.au. Uh, but it is around 13 lakhs. Uh, plus, the fees for each and every course remains the same. Uh, you can refer to the website for the details. Thank you for your question. Well, the next question comes from Karan and he's asking, is industry exposure mandatory to apply for this course? I can. Uh, no, pressures can also apply for this course. There is no mandatory industry exposure required to apply to a PA, an MBA, or a Although, uh, if you want to apply for an executive MBA or a PCIT MBA, you will have to have a minimum of work experience. Uh, for the details, you can definitely refer to this area. So, we have our next question from Rohan. Rohan asks, how different is MBA DSCA uh, from the data science specialization that ITPM offers? Uh, well, hi Rohan. Uh, to answer your question, uh, MBA uh, DSCA is a specialized course which was open only last year and it has got a great response. It uh, aims on developing techno-functional managers who uh, aim at uh, doing analytics in the industry. So, it is a very specialized and skilled course which is the need of the art of the industry. But in MBA ITPM you get blend of various other courses plus data science. So you get acquainted with multiple skills, you will get uh, management flavor with data science. So that's how it's different and you should definitely take up the course which interests you the most. Thanks for your question. Well the next question comes from Shrita and she's asking is there any management for available SK? But I think uh, no, there is no management quota available in SCA. The selection is purely based on merit, and the selection will have to go to the SNAP process. The SNAP process. After the exam, you have to go to the BY process, and if you are selected, you will definitely get a quota. Thank you. Uh, we have our next question from Nitya. Uh, she asks Apart from the academics, what other extracurricular activities can the students participate in? Uh, well, we have discussed more about academics, so to tell you about the extracurricular activities now, uh, we have numerous sports events lined up at SCIT. Thus, uh, to break the monotony, we always have some play events happening at SCIT. Uh, for example, there is independence cup, cup where there is uh, participation from seniors as well as juniors. It's a very fun event, and we have SIU uh, team here. Uh, which goes to play at the SIU level. So, in that aspect, we uh, create students who are overall trained to be at the industry where they are not limited to studies. They also participate in extracurricular activities and we get numerous opportunities over here for the same. Thanks for your question. So, the next question is from Suman and uh, she's asking, are guests allowed inside the campus? Hi, Suman. Uh, yes, guests are allowed inside the campus. Uh, the only constraint is that they cannot enter the rooms of the students' presence. Thank you. Uh, we got a similar kind of question from Isha. She asked, in case relatives, friends, or parents come to visit us, uh, can they stay with us? Uh, well, uh, hi Isha. Uh, if they came to visit you, uh, they cannot stay in your room, but there are always guest rooms available at SCIT. SCIT uh, plus uh, they are very low, uh, low cost and they are present inside the campus only. Uh, they just have to be registered on your name and your parents can stay with you at that time. Thanks for your question. So the next question comes from Seema and she is asking are there restrictions on the movement of students inside the campus? Well, I see that there is no as such any restriction for the, the movement of students inside the campus. Although uh, the boys cannot enter the girls of the and vice versa. Thank you. We've got our next question from Akriti. Akriti asks, how diverse is the college in terms of demographic of students? 
uh, well, SCIT is a really mixture of uh, students from different communities, different ages, different experience. We have here the students uh, who are from international background, then we have students who, who are from different parts of India. So there is a real mixture of real talent here uh, and we get to see people of every time. Uh, so I hope you make it to SCIT and Well, uh, the next question comes from Shraika and uh, she is asking what are the placement committees like for the PUP activity course. Well, hi Shraika, the placement committee of SCIT will take care of the placements and uh, for three days you have to report to PSA. Thank you. Um, we have our next question uh, from Poonvi. She asks, can we take more than one elective based on our interest? Uh, well, hi Poonvi. Uh, in every semester, uh, the student can choose two or three electives depending on their course. Thus, we follow a cafeteria system here where you can choose uh, subjects from uh, cross specialization. So, it's never an issue to choose subjects of your interest. And even if you don't choose a subject of your interest, you can always attend classes uh, for that subject with time permits. And that's how learning never stops at SCIT. Thanks for your question. Uh, well, we have a question on the civil lines from Poonvi. And uh, she is asking, can we take more than one elective based on our interest? Uh, well, yes, Poonvi. Uh, every semester, you can take more than one elective out of the choices given to you. Thank you. Then we have a question from Shivangi. Uh, she asks, uh, what is the eligibility criteria for the international students for PG? IPDF course. Uh, well, hi Shivangi. Uh, the graduates with English language competency in business and IT areas will be preferred and other criteria, uh, criteria as per our expert SIU terms. You can refer to the website for the detailed information. So the next question is from Priya and she is asking are there specific labs for data science students? Well, hi Priya. Yes, yes, there are specific labs for data science students and all labs are equipped with high performing machines and the quality of them is not up to us. Thank you. Uh, we have our next question from Niharika. Uh, she asks, will hospital facilities be provided to the students of PGP ITPM? Uh, well, hi Niharika. All the students who take part, uh, who are part of SCIT and are part of any program here are provided with hospital facilities. Plus, you have many recreational facilities available here like gymnasium, swimming pool, etc. Uh, so, you can use uh, those facilities to the best of your interest. Thanks for your question. So, the next question is from Shivangi and she is asking what is the eligibility criteria for the international students for PTP IT course? Well, hi Shivangi. Uh, graduates with English uh, language competency are uh, preferred. And uh, also the people who have a background in IT areas will be prepared for PTP IT Thank you. Uh, then we have a question from Ruby. She asks, are there any certification provided in the PTP IT course? Uh, well, hi Ruby. Uh, to answer your question, the students will get opportunities uh, to pursue evaluated uh, certifications like ITI and Six Sigma on their own. The faculty will guide them. But there are no, uh, as, the, uh, as of now, uh, certifications uh, provided by SCIT, but you can always pursue them by, on your own and uh, faculties will always support you in your, every venture you pursue. Well, uh, the next question is from Sai and he is asking, will internships be provided to colleges? Uh, yes, hello, hello Sai. The internships, the opportunities will be provided to college. Although you can opt out from the process and uh, choose to pursue it or Thank you. Then we have a question from Vidhi. She asks, what is the duration of PGP ITPM course? Uh, well, mainly PGP ITPM course is full one year residential course uh, and you will have to stay at campus during that duration and all the facilities that are provided to other courses will also be provided to 
But the next question is from Monica. And she's asking what is the difference between two credit subjects and three credit subjects? Uh, well, hi, Monica. The difference between two credit subjects and three credit subjects is that a two credit subject is of 100 marks and a three credit subject is of 150 marks. The so two credit subjects are usually the four subjects which have to be pursued, which are, which are mandatory for all the students. And the three credit subjects are elective, uh, which have to be chosen according to your preferences in every semester. Got our next question from uh, Shelja. Uh, she asked, "What are prerequisites for IT infrastructure management course?" Uh, well, uh, Shelja, to answer your question, there are no prerequisites for any of the course offered here. Uh, we just uh, get a, uh, we just want you to be competent enough to pursue this course. Uh, also, we have students from different backgrounds, say BCom background, who are pursuing this kind of a course. So you never have to be worried about the prerequisites, but you have to be keep doing well in the course which is being offered here. So that is all and don't worry about the course. Thanks for your question. So the next question is from Kajal and she is asking, is PGPIT PM a residential course too? Well, yes, PGPIT PM is also a residential course and the course structure is quite demanding and it's the one year program. So it's better to clear the gap. Uh, we have got our next question from Trishti. She asked, what should be the strategy for attempting SNAP? Uh, well, I, as, as I discussed in the beginning of the webinar, that uh, SNAP is a speed and accuracy based test. So you have to be sharp enough to, uh, and wise enough to know which questions to answer, as 25% negative marks should be there for every wrong answer. Uh, plus, uh, you need to be well informed about the current affairs and other aspects of general knowledge uh, to attend that section. Uh, and there is no uh, uh, sectional cutoff in any of the sections. So, choose your questions wisely and perform accordingly. All the best. Well, the next question is from Vasneya and she is asking in which format will SNAP code be declared? But the SNAP scores, the SNAP scores which we declared in the percentile form as for the candidates after the and the result would be on the 28th December. Uh, we got our next question from Sagar. Uh, he asked when the process for GE Pilot is held and where. Uh, well, hi Sagar. The GE Pilot process will happen here only in Pune, Nijabadi campus. Uh, you can book the slots between that 2 to 4 and 9 to 11 once the process begins and with the uh, results will be announced shortly by SNAP 26 and for all the other important dates you can always check snaptest.org uh, so uh, all the best for the process. But the next question is from Parun and he is asking what is the process for joining ITPM course at SCA? Hi Varun. Uh, the process for joining IT in post SCIT is that first of all you have to go through the SNAP exam. After clearing the exam, uh, you will get the qualification rate for the private process which will be made within the SCIT campus. So after clearing the process, you will, uh, it will take your rate for the next part of SCIT. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we have got our next question from Nehan. He asks, what is the last day for registering for SCIT? Well, Neha, you need to hurry up because the last day for registering for SCIT is 15th of December and the examination will be held on 17th of uh, December. Uh, you need to pay a registration amount of fee for uh, registering for any of the programs which I mentioned MBA ITDM, MBA DSA, EGP ITDM, or MBA ITDM program for the SCIT. Separate fees would be uh, paid for uh, separate courses. Uh, and that's how your uh, registration process with SCIT will come. Thanks for your question. Well, the next, uh, next question is from Sagar and he's asking does placements at SCIT after knowing the IT background? Well, I think I said it, uh, I think for this question it's a very interesting one. Well, the placement at SCIT does not only happen in the IT sector, uh, with the company, the biggest major players from different sectors like uh, banking and finance. And manufacturing and telecom, etc., come and see for placements. So, we are not restricted to just the IT sector. Thank you for your question. We got one question from Vidhi. 
So she asked, what is the program structure for MBA DSJ course? Uh, well, hi Ruchi. Uh, for MBA DSJ course, as I mentioned earlier, it focuses on analytics and it prepares you to compete in the market in the field of data analytics and data sciences. Uh, you will uh, get ahead in this course as a techno uh, functional uh, manager programming. Uh, plus, uh, you can use your competi competencies to get your hands on a various school which are in uh, real. Uh, 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 real uh, which will give you real exposure to the industry and the market which is going on currently. Uh, plus, it's a 100 credit course and you will have to choose three electives in every semester. Uh, it's a four semester program and uh, it's a very good program to pursue. Thanks for your question. Well, the next question is from Sauvnik. Uh, he's asking, in case of medical emergencies, what are the facilities that we get? Hi, Sauvnik. In case of any medical emergency, there is a crisis healthcare center just opposite to uh, the main building of the car. And the, the also, also, that doctor is available at the campus at all times. So, in case of any emergency, uh, you will come to us. We have our next question from Rohan. Rohan asks uh, How is the final merit score calculated uh, for SCI? Uh, well, hi, Rohan. Uh, just uh, to answer your question, the SNAP examination which will be held on 17th of December will carry 50, uh, 50 marks weightage. Uh, then, when you will be called for the pilot process, separate criteria and uh, separate slots of marks are set for the pilot process. So, to say 10 marks for uh, group exercise and writing ability test, and personal interview would carry 30 marks. The cumulative of all the weightages uh, would uh, uh, and a uh, checklist would be prepared on the basis of those cumulative scores, and that's how you get to SCIT. Uh, so, we hope to see you soon. Thanks for your question. Well, the next question is from Shruti, and she's asking, I'm from Pune, and am I allowed to opt out of the residential course and make all of the accommodation? Well, I should be. Uh, no, this is, a very this is a residential course, and you need to be in, in the campus at all times. We have our next question from Shreya. Shreya asks, please brief about MBA IT Executive Program. Uh, to brief you about the MBA IT Executive Program, the course duration is 30 months. Uh, and the classes would be held on weekend from Saturday and Sunday uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, plus, the classes will be had at this campus only. And uh, for uh, you people also, uh, the same facilities would be provided. And it's a very good course to pursue. Thanks for your question. But the next question is from Akhil and he's asking are the hostel rooms have attached the bathroom facilities? Uh, and how many times uh, meals are provided in beds in non veg rooms or Well, hi Akhil. Yes, the hostel rooms have attached bathroom facility. And uh, regarding the beds, you are know, provided with breakfast, lunch, uh, evening meals, snacks, and dinner. And also, non veg food is served uh, like two to three times a week. So we have our next question from Rohit. Rohit asks, uh, you mentioned about guest lectures, so can you please elaborate on what kind of guest lectures happen in SCIT? Uh, well, hi Rohit. Uh, to elaborate on guest lectures, I would like to tell you that uh, subject matter experts from different uh, industries come over here and deliver their insights of the industry as per the need basis and you get a real insight and insight into your curriculum once you interact with them. Uh, plus they are uh, really uh, good at answering your uh, real time queries. So it will be a fun attending guest lectures. Uh, plus you will gain more knowledge and more experience. Thanks for your question. So the next question is from Tanuja and uh, she is asking, I, if a loan of 12 lakhs is taken for SCIT IT course, what will be the EMI? Well, hi Tanuja. The EMI will uh, depend on the bank that they are applying to for a loan. And uh, the for detailed instructions, you can refer to the SAT website. They will get clear what uh, the installment that we should be paid every semester. Thank you. Uh, the next question is from Diti, and she is asking if I have been selected for SCIT and uh, don't want to prefer hostel accommodation, then what amount should I pay to secure my seat? 
and the ACT only, is it only the point to be and deposit in the residential program? Well, I, since it's a residential program, so you have to be in the campus at about that. So we have our next question from Priya. Priya asks, uh, since you mentioned about graffiti, can you elaborate about graffiti events at SCIT? And I, Priya, to answer your question, uh, graffiti is a flagship event of SCIT and we celebrate it with great pride in the month of January. You can witness that one uh, and pictures on the website in the coming months. Uh, plus, we organize various events at IT. Uh, at the campus only and invite students from various technical and business institutions across India to pass, uh, participate in the LMS competitions that are held over here. Uh, so thanks for your question. Well, uh, this would be the last question for the day that we take. And uh, it is asked by Rohini and it is asked how to prepare for the and we provide some reference day. Well, I will uh, for the group exercise you will have to be updated with the current uh, happenings that are uh, around the world. And uh, the digital knowledge square section will be asked in the video website. Thank you. So, for any more queries, uh, please go into our admission at SCI.tv and also the, there, are, there are links on the Bhavika and Facebook.